It's about Aaron Ball, a circus artist and coach from Kingston, Ontario. Three years ago, after an accident, Erin had both of her legs amputated just below the knee. Today, not only does she continue to coach, but she performs as well. In fact, together with stilt walker Vanessa Furlong of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, she is part of a duo called Legacy Circus. Laura Bain and the Halifax crew caught up with Erin in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia to see a dress rehearsal performance of an original Legacy Circus creation. This explores Erin's personal journey, movements with and without leg attachments, and joy. It's two hours before showtime. Circus artist Erin Ball is in costume and makeup, warming up for tonight's performance. I feel like circus is my whole life. I got into circus arts about 10 years ago. The majority of what I do is aerial silks, but I also do uh, a lot of other uh, aerial arts as well. We're at Atlantic Cirque, a circus school where Vanessa Furlong, the other half of Legacy Circus, teaches. We live in two different cities. Vanessa lives in Halifax, so we get together whenever we can. Vanessa works on stilts. We started working on a piece that explores the similarities between our leg attachments. Tonight's dress rehearsal premieres the team's latest show entitled The World at Your Feet. Vanessa explains. What it is is it's going to be a mashup of duo acrobatics and duo silks and duo stilts and duo trapeze and um, just uh, playing, I guess, in, with our leg attachments. So the prostheses that I have on right now are my everyday legs. So they have that kind of C shape that the running blades typically have, but they also have the foot on them as well. And then uh, I have, I call them my fawn legs. Um, so they look like pegs. They also make it a little bit easier to spin around. I also use um, confetti cannon legs. <laughs> so I shoot confetti cannons out of my legs. While the show contains humor, it also explores the serious story of how Erin lost her legs. In March 2014, I uh, was having a rough night. I uh, went out for a drive to kind of clear my head and uh, I stopped my car and I felt like I wanted to go for a walk in the woods. As I walked in, uh, there was snow on the ground and my feet got wet. I wasn't wearing uh, great boots. And as I was sitting, I didn't notice, but um, I guess my feet were getting frostbite. On stage during this part of the story, Erin performs a series of floor acrobatics while Vanessa, off stage, narrates Erin's thoughts. I don't know exactly how long I sat there, but I do know that when I tried to get up, I couldn't feel my feet. They were completely numb. And I couldn't walk on them, um, so I tried crawling to get out of the woods, and that was when it started to sink in. I screamed. I screamed for help over and over. I started to panic. It, it was sinking in. How was I gonna get out of here? Nobody came. Um, and after that, I really don't have a lot of memories. Um, kind of flashes of, I remember eating snow. And six days after I went into the woods, I was found by a police dog. My body temperature was 19 degrees Celsius uh, when they found me. Erin's legs were amputated. And I spent 11 months in the hospital. I fell into a really deep depression. I think what made me turn a corner, I was living the same day over and over again. I was in a hospital bed, I was hoping to die, I was not dying. Um, and I think I just finally had enough. So I decided to try another way. And that involved getting out of the hospital. And for me, living, is, is, circus is a part of living. So um, I started training even before I got out of the hospital. Um, and so I learned how to walk at the same time as I relearned all of my uh, circus skills. In the performance, both Vanessa and Erin remove their leg attachments. For Erin, it opens up a whole new world on the aerial silks. 
two strips of hanging fabric that test strength and flexibility. It was a, a sense of freedom taking the, uh, the prostheses off because they don't move, they have feet that just kind of get in the way. Um, so yeah, that, once that started happening and once I rebuilt my strength, it was um, very empowering. The show ends with a duo trapeze act that wows the crowd. Tonight's show was the first in front of an audience and a first viewing for Aaron's mom, Kathleen Rugg. I was a bit surprised and it takes me back to that time. Um, it was a really emotional time for me and I felt that tonight too. But I love, I love seeing her up there and doing what she does best. I think it's, it's therapeutic for all of us and I think it's a beautiful story in the end. Human beings are a lot more resilient than we often give ourselves credit for. Um, I would never have imagined being able to recover and then thrive and, you know, laugh at this situation. What a story. I am sure that facing that challenge and overcoming it has only made her a stronger performer. I mean, the show sounds amazing, and she is so passionate about circus arts. You talk about strength. The emotional strength is one thing. The physical strength, something else. I mean, for her to ha hang from those silks for as long as she does is absolutely amazing. It is incredible. We should mention that the performance our Halifax team attended is a smaller version of The World at Your Feet. The full version is in the works. And if you would like to learn more about Erin or Legacy Circus, you can catch up with her on Facebook. Just search erin.ball.94.